everybody, Mr. and Mrs. Dan Corwin. I just can't believe it. Baby, I thought that reception was never going to happen. <laughs> I kept looking at you in that dress, and all I could think of was getting you out of Ooh, it. Ooh, girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can hardly wait. Uh, <laughs> my back is about to explode, girl. Come here. Stop it. <laughs> Did somebody say explode? <laughs> You, man! Fear not, young lovers. I'm Fire Marshal Bell Burns, and I noticed your bride was getting a little warm south of the navel there, son. <laughs> you get the hell out of here. <laughs> Keep your rocket in your pocket, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> You're not getting out of here until you learn the meaning of safe sex. Passion can lead to carelessness. And if you're not careful, you'll be carrying your new bride across the threshold of... Mm. Now, imagine, if you will, the following gruesome scenario. I should note that it contains intense scenes that may disturb sensitive viewers. <laughs> Deal with it! <laughs> you're chomping at the bit to deflower your butt, but your old friend Kim and Jane Sullivan have set up a bottle of the finest champagne. <laughs> champagne compliments of your old and dear friends, Tim and Jane Sullivan. Call it a hunch! Hey, what about my tip? You want a tip, huh? Well, never do this! <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? No. Perhaps I've been desensitized by years of television violence. <laughs> now, you're ready to enjoy... Drink a bubbly. What you don't know is our friendly porter type is distraught by the sudden cancellation of that Chevy Chase. Oh. That's distracted. He has mistakenly switched your champagne with highly unstable boric acid. my battle with gingivitis. <laughs> Man, this is our winning night. Now, if you don't leave, I'm calling security. Listen and learn, lover lines. Or you'll be putting out your private parts with the puny pillow patties that they stick on your bed in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey! Now, let's say your wife decides it's time to get this party started. Suddenly, the freak inside her is unleashed. She's possessed by the spirit of Carmen Miranda. Suddenly, and without any good reason, she decides to whip up a performance-enhancing smoothie with this handy bedside juicer. That's no juicer. That's the magic finger. You get technical, Buster. Hell. But he's possessed! Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> this looks like a good place for a sticker. <laughs> Look, man, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone with my wife. So would I, son. But I got bigger, Mr. Fry. <laughs> for complete and utter honesty. So you decide to introduce your wife to an old friend. Honey, I'd like you to meet Nylana. <laughs> now you're a little scared about your wife's reaction because she's got a temper like Lorena Bobbitt with menstrual cramps and you don't want to spend a honeymoon describing your private parts to the police artist. <laughs> so like the loser that you are, you totally freak out and accidentally inflate your vinyl vixen with hydrogen! <laughs> Who could this be? Complimentary canister of inert hydrogen. And after 11, too. Enjoy your compressed <laughs> gas. You know we will. <laughs> I love a girl who gets pumped up before sex. <laughs> now, she's 
looking like the Madonna balloon at the Macy's Day Parade? You throw her on the bed. You're shuffling around the room looking for your tire patching kit. Just in case of a puncher. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what you don't know is, this carpet is filled with a dangerous level of static electricity. And your finger is now become a digit of death. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right, honey. I'll get you to the hospital. Huh. Don't worry, baby. I'm a fire marshal. I know CPR! <laughs> Don't go into the light. Don't go into 